You know what? Honey is absolutely delightful. I think most people like it. It's very delicious. It has a thick texture and a taste that goes well with many foods in your kitchen. And the best part is, it's completely healthy and a joy to eat. Okay. Just imagine if honey was sour, probably nobody would eat it. Maybe you've heard or tasted different kinds of honey, different color, texture, or flavor. In today's video, we're going to talk about raw honey, its benefits, how it differs from regular or pasteurized honey, if it can help with weight loss, and finally, we're going to see if it's helpful with seasonal allergies. So please stay tuned. Hi and welcome to Fancied Facts, fun and interesting facts for you. So what is raw honey? Is it like fresh and cooked fish or meat that tastes chewy and tough? Mm, not quite. Actually, the term raw in the case of food generally means uncooked or unchanged from its natural state. The term raw honey means as it exists in the beehive or extracted, collected or poured in its designated containers. Furthermore, it is not heated to a degree where vital enzymes and proteins are compromised. Of course, that also applies to any honey producers who use serious filtration which removes natural substances like pollen from it. Now let's talk about the differences between raw and pasteurized honey. First, let's look at the consistency of raw honey. When extracted, it's relatively runny and soft. However, as time passes, it will become thicker and denser if it stays at room temperature. Pasteurized honey, though, has a runny consistency that will remain this way for an extended period of time. Eventually, all honey will harden and become crystallized when more liquid evaporates from it. Pasteurized honey is collected and filtered through a mesh or screen to separate wax, pollen grains, dead bees, and undesired particles. Then it's heated up to 154 Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes. The degree of heat may vary depending on preference. Honey producers heat it up to kill any yeast and bacteria that could be present to prevent fermentation and to reduce crystallization time frame. Due to these changes, it doesn't have the same antioxidant properties. It's uniform in color and has a consistent texture. Some processed honey may contain added sugar or high fructose syrup such as corn syrup to make it sweeter. Raw honey is unfiltered contains beeswax and pollen which gets stuck on tiny hairs on the bee's legs while it flies from one flower to another collecting nectar. It has a thick creamy consistency and it's golden or smooth white. Now let's jump to the health effects of raw honey on your body. Before consuming raw honey you should take some considerations. This is because honey differs depending on several factors like region, country, type of flower, environment, and season nectar is collected. After taking all these differences into account, there are considerable benefits for the most reliable sources of honey, so make sure you buy yours from a trustworthy store. According to medicalnews.com, raw honey contains the following components that might be absent in processed honey. Pollen, which has antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, B propolis, a glue-like substance that help keeps the hive together and is helpful in wound healing. Vitamins and minerals, which help build your bones, boost your immune system, and repair cellular damages. Enzymes help break down food for energy. Amino acids aid in building muscles and decrease fatigue. Antioxidants, substances that help protect your cells against misshape or harmful molecules, also known as free radicals. Additionally, raw honey contains hydrogen peroxide, which means it's an antiseptic. In other words, it prevents the growth of disease-causing microorganisms like unwanted fungus and bacteria. Raw honey has also been found to aid in the speedy healing of wounds and tissue regeneration. But please consider that there is specific wound healing honey that is safe and sterile to use after consulting with an expert. 
Avoid applying regular raw honey bought from an ordinary store to wounds. By the way, did you know that raw honey is probiotic? It simply means it aids in the nourishing of your good bacteria in the intestines for better food digestion. Here's a quick health tip. Try drinking one glass of natural lemon juice and one teaspoon of raw honey to increase your metabolism. It's also an effective way to treat cellulite and it helps lower cholesterol levels in your system. Alright, let's address if raw honey helps you lose weight. Let's focus on the contents of raw honey. Basically, it's a sugary secretion, nectar, that bees collect from flowers. Generally speaking, all sugar is a simple carbohydrate that the body converts into glucose and uses it for energy. If we look at the aspect of refined sugar, it has little to no nutritional value, and it's devoid of any calories, minerals, and vitamins. On the other hand, raw honey contains minerals and vitamins that aid in weight loss and help you speed up your metabolism and fat burning. Refined sugar has a simple carbohydrate chemical structure, which simply means it breaks down very rapidly, giving you a feeling of being unsatisfied even though you ate enough food. Refined sugar is correlated with obesity and diabetes. You may substitute regular sugar with honey for a healthier and more natural sweetener. Taking raw honey before a workout has been shown to prevent you from quitting early and also helps speedy muscle recovery when taken after exercise. And finally, can raw honey help with allergies? There is a widespread belief that raw honey may help with lessening the symptoms of pollen allergies. How is that possible, you may ask? Okay, let's understand allergies first. It works in the following manner. When a person with an allergy is exposed to pollen through their nose, mouth or eyes, their immune system triggers a response reserved for harmful invaders like bacteria, viruses, germs, or any foreign body. It can't seem to recognize the pollen particles as harmless bodies. <gasps> Therefore, it begins to attack. Then the immune cells start to produce antibodies that come out searching for the invader. When it's found, the antibodies capture it and send it off to the nearest white blood cells. Once it reaches the white blood cells, it produces a group of chemicals called histamines which cause an allergic reaction. Sneezing, <laughs> watery eyes and runny nose. It's making a serious attempt to expel pollen particles from your system. The person feels completely miserable, so often people visit their immunologist to get a shot that helps them increase their body's tolerance to pollen during an allergy season. More pollen particles and variety in the injections means the immune system learns to cope and not react negatively when exposed to harmless pollen. Alright, so how can raw honey help with allergy symptoms? It works in the following way. When a bee travels from flower to flower collecting nectar, pollen dust gets stuck on tiny hairs on its leg and back. When they return to the hive, it gets mixed with the honey. Therefore, consuming raw honey along with pollen might have the same effects as injection treatment to reduce the allergic reaction. The problem is, raw honey contains a much smaller variety of pollen when compared to allergy shots. The answer is yes, hmm. it can help but in a limited way because bees do not cover enough flowers and plants for it to be an effective treatment. Okay guys, this concludes this episode of Fancy Facts. Please don't forget to click the like button 
and subscribe for more fun and interesting facts in the future. Hope to see you soon. Take care.